Uh, now, let's study some important properties of the regression estimator. The first part is about the algebraic properties, and the second part is uh, about the statistical properties. We'll study the algebraic pro properties first. Note that uh, the y bar leg regression estimator is, is b hat 0 plus b hat 1 x bar u. And uh, this is linear. So these two are linear in yi in the sample. So, so this should be linear. So that means something like this. Okay. Now let's write it specifically. Uh, the uh, we the the specific weight is actually uh, this form. Okay. So we'll uh, check uh, check about it. So y bar leak is y bar r y bar plus x bar u minus x bar b hat 1 and then this is y i plus x bar u minus x bar uh, summation s x i minus x bar u x bar oh sorry times uh, y i minus y bar okay and now uh, we can see that this guy is equal to plus oops sorry uh, x i minus x bar y bar okay and this is zero so that means we can write it 1 over n Here, times x i minus x bar. Okay, something like that. So this is the weight. Okay, so the uh, the weight is this form, and notice that this is the weight used for y bar right and and so that is called the design weight because it is the weight for the design unbiased estimator which is y bar and this is uh, adjustment term or the adjustment term and notice that the the adjustment term is a factor has a factor of the uh, difference between the sample mean and and uh, population mean. So if this term, oops, if this term is small, that means that we have a good sample. So then, uh, if this term is close to zero, then the other small term will go uh, go away, and 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 then. Uh, the weight it will be just one equal to one over n, but uh, this is not necessarily zero. Then, if this is large, then we adjust a lot. If it's small, then we adjust a little, something like that. And now let's take a look at this uh, property, second property. The second property is that uh, the weights should add up to something. So this is uh, some some population mean, right? Population quantity. 
So previously, the uh, regression is uh, ratio estimator also satisfied this, right? The the weight applied to the ratio estimator uh, reduced to to, uh, to the uh, same population mean. But now regression estimator satisfies one more, so that is the it also gives the equal uh, weight uh, add up to equal to one. So this is actually because of this uh, weight add up to one. That means this is a weighted average, right? So now let's take a look at the uh, the second property. So, <coughs> excuse me, one over n. X bar square times x i minus x bar. So that is the first one. It's just this, right? Plus, we have all this. The, the these terms are constant, so summation can actually go inside to here. Okay, and then this one is zero, so that becomes one. Okay. Now, uh, what if we apply the <coughs> What if we apply the second term, xi, then you can see that 1 over n xi, right? And then the summation can go all the way to the last term, times xi. And then uh, you can uh, easily check that this is equal to this, so they cancels. So, so then you end up getting x bar plus x bar u minus x bar, so that it becomes x bar u. Okay, so that proves the second part. The third one, uh, <coughs> it, the location scale invariant. Uh, apply to the regression weight wi a plus b yi equals to a times w summation of wi plus b times summation wi yi right so that becomes one that is the regression estimator so we have this one okay so that uh, means that regression estimator preserves the loc uh, uh, location scale uh, uh, transformation.